Hi everybody, it's Kim from Oxton Bee Farm and today I'm going to show you how to make a nucleus box that will help you to transition from British Standard Frames to Langstroth. I'm going to show you my British Standard to Langstroth Nucleus Conversion. Well, I'll quickly dismantle this and then I'll show you how it works and how it all goes together. So the reason for creating this is because I've started to sell queens and colonies this year and one of my customers asked me if I could supply a nucleus on Langstroth frames. All my stock is on British National or 14 by 12s so that posed me a little bit of a problem. So to start off with I bought myself a couple of the Abello Langstroth poly nukes. They're six frame nukes, as you can see, they're very, very well made, very sturdy. I'd say they're almost as dense as wood, but they've got better insulation properties and you can actually fix them with standard wood screws. They come uh, sectional, so you have to put the box together. The base is separate, so you screw the base to the box, but you can the purposes of this uh, national to Langstroth conversion take a second brood body that's not going to be fixed and you can see we hold them together with with these cam latches now to start off with this is the size of the box and it takes Langstroth deep brood frames so what I decided to do was make some conversion cheeks to go in there to reduce the aperture size. So some faced MDF, I've put some Kingspan foam cut to the exact form of the internal dimensions of the nucleus box. So one goes near the entrance, you can see we've continued the entrance through the end cheek there. And another one for the back, which of course is just a solid fill. That fits perfectly in the nuke box. Stands there on its own. We've got some tape on there which will temporarily hold it in place. So at any time I can take this out and revert it back to a standard Langstroth box. So now, to all intents and purposes, this is a British national nuke. So here's a national frame. And as you can see, it fits perfectly. So what I intend to do is take the nucleus colony that I'm selling to this customer. It's in a six frame national polynuke. Take the six frames from that and put them directly into this. Of course, this will then stand on the site that the nuke is currently occupying. So six frames with bees and queen all into this bottom box. So then put on the next box, which is still, of course, Langstroth internal dimensions. So we've got six frames in there of Langstroth foundation. And that's gonna go straight on top of there. We're then gonna put the feeder and I shall feed with one to one syrup and then on top of that of course goes the lid. All that's down, everything nice and secure and we'll leave that 
for probably a week and a half to two weeks, by which time, hopefully, the girls should have started to draw out some of these Langston frames. So, if we get to the point where we then have maybe the middle two frames drawn out, we go back into the hive, remove the top box. Now, we do need to identify the whereabouts of the queen because we're going to make sure that she resides in this top box. Going forward now, we put on a queen excluder. Now, this is a specially made queen excluder that I've taken. It was a six frame British standard nucleus excluder. And as you can see, I've fixed onto it a frame around the edges and also some inserts there, which will drop in to the Langstroth new and secure it so it can't move. So that's in place. The other feature of this, of course, is I've left a gap at the front, which will become the new entrance. So that will go onto there. Then the box will go on to the top with the Langstroth frames and the queen and some brood, hopefully, if she started to lay up there already. But if she hasn't, that's not a problem. She's got somewhere to lay. She now cannot get into the bottom box, so she's forced to lay in this top box. As she lays, the nurse bees will come up and they will look after the brood in this top box. And going forwards, the brood in the bottom box will hatch and leave the bottom frames vacant for me to retrieve at a later point. So we're then going to put feeder back on and lid back on and just keep that feeder topped up now for two or three weeks we should see most of those frames drawn out and the queen will be laying well in that top box and all the brood will have hatched from the bottom box at which point we're then ready to supply this to the customer well I hope that makes sense I hope you understand the principle of what's going on there it is essentially a Bailey comb change put in nucleus boxes with a different format on the bottom box to the top box quite useful going forward in fact I've already got another one booked for it in in summer so I could probably see I might be making a few more of these up well I hope that's been of interest to some of you at least please subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Thanks very much for watching. See you later. Bye.